So I'm Faz, I am today's reluctant zookeeper. Or should I say bird keeper? Bird keeper. Okay, so I will guess I'll have some fun. Hi, I'm Matthias. Uh, I'm a bird keeper here at the Jerome Bird Park and I take care of the largest collection of hornbills in the world. Okay, so today we're just going to go feed some hornbills. Are you ready? Do I have a choice? Nope. Can I wash my hands again? Later you're going to have to feed them again. With this. Hey, can I wash my hands? Yeah. Can I wash my hands? Ah. Take it in. One of the programs that we have here in the Jerome Bird Park is that we do keeper interaction sessions. So our keeper interaction here for um, the Jerome Bird Park is the Hornbill Chit Chat. <laughs> now you're going to do it. Do what? Whatever I just said. Okay, so I'll crop here. Okay? Hi, Sally. Come up. No? Alright. Doesn't seem to want to like you, so okay. you okay. manja okay. him. Manja okay. her a bit. Okay. But her beak's near my hand. It's okay, she won't bite you. Okay. Yeah. Give her a massage. Oh, hi! Why, why is it like bending his neck, her neck over? Okay, so uh, because Sally was uh, raised, uh, hand raised from young, mm -hmm. okay, so she's actually bonded to humans. Oh. Okay, therefore she sees us as her partners. That's why oh. she really likes humans. That's nice. So, by scratching her like that, right, mm -hmm. it's a preening behaviour that's found in all birds. So birds, when they are bonding with each other, they'll start preening each other. Okay. So is it ready to go up now? Or is it... I don't know. Sally? Sally, you ready? Hey. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Hi. So this is Sally. Oh. And and she's uh she's a uh, she's a hornbill. Oriental she's, pipe hornbill. She's an oriental pipe hornbill. So she's actually native to Singapore. But then she went extinct sometime like many many years ago. I think 18, 19, Yeah. Some somewhere there. And then like um they found her they found they found her species again in 1997 in Pulau Ubin. After they found them in Pulau Ubin in 1997, uh, so NPARKs, the three universities and Jurong Bird Park, they decided to repopulate them again. So um, and they're thriving now. So that's their happily ever after. The end! Yay! <laughs> in the morning is to mm -hmm. prepare the food for um condos. So one day they take up about um, eight kilos of fire and about 2 kilos of apples and pears. That's well, a lot. About 2 kilos of grapes. This morning, uh, just to ease you into it, right? We're just going to prepare one papaya. We start off by washing our hands. Of course. Okay, we cut off the ends. We cut it in half. Can you help me to clear out the... The seeds, <laughs> okay. So I just use my hands? Yep, that's why you wash your hands. Okay. Do you have a favourite fruit or...? Um, they really like grapes. Yep. Can they eat durians? Uh, no. Oh, that sucks. Why we give papaya is because hornbills they don't drink water, mm -hmm. so they can stay hydrated from the fruits that they eat. So disclaimer, I don't know how to cut fruit. Am I doing it right? Uh, not bad so far. Okay. One day, 8 kilos eh. Oh, that's true. We're barely hitting like 500 grams. Oh man. Ta-da! Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to get mealworms for the hornbills. <laughs> it's really alive eh? So what we need to do is fill up this container with mealworms. Okay, so what we do is sift them out. What's like the residue? Uh, it's not residue, so it's like food that we feed them. Oh. Okay, sift them out and then you pour them in. Okay. What you do right? Yeah. Hold it with two hands. Mm -hmm. Guide them in. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Ah. Take it in. Oh, well done. Okay, is it done? Yeah. Okay. Can I wash my hands again? Later you're gonna have to feed them again. With this. Apparently, like there's more than papaya and mealworms. We're actually feeding the birds um, mice. And like apparently they can bite off your fingers. Can they bite off my fingers? Yeah. And I don't have insurance. Okay, so uh here are the mice. Ah. Okay, so we'll feed them to the bushy crown horn, uh, crested hornbills later. Do I have to hold it in my hand? Um, we'll use a pair of forceps. Okay. So you put it in your pocket. Okay, that's cool. Uh... Uh, now we're in the Bonderdecken hornbill enclosure. Inside we have uh, one male Bonderdecken okay. and six females. Uh, how do we, do you tell the male and female apart? Okay, so Bondedecken hornbills, they're actually sexually dimorphic, which means that um, the males and females look uh, very different. Okay, so the female Bondedeckens are all black. 
so they have a uh, black beak, whereas the male Vonderdecken have an uh, orange beak. Um, this is a great pipe hornbill. It's currently nesting, so the female is inside, but the male is very aggressive. So, as much as I like to, uh, uh, you don't have insurance, so I can't let you put your hands in. Thank God. Now that he's gone, it's time to put the food in. Whoa! Yep. Okay. So this one can bite your, my fingers off? Yeah, it can bite your fingers off because hornbills actually have uh, serrated beaks. Mm -hmm. Can you see? There's like um, jagged edges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what they do, they bite, they pull, uh, and your okay. fingers come off. So like, what does nesting mean? Okay, so hornbills, they're actually very um, fussy nesters. So what they use is that they have a... They look for a hollow in the tree trunk. So the female will go inside, she'll seal herself up with um, things like dried fruit, uh, feces as well as mud. So a hole this big, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, she'll make it until it's this small. She'll stay inside there and lay her eggs and feed the chicks after they're hatched. Okay, she'll stay inside for maybe a month or two. So the male is the only one that is able to feed. So now you see he's taking all the food so that he can fly back up to feed. So what happens is that they keep the food in the stomach, they'll fly back to the nest, they regurgitate the food out and feed the female. So they vomit? Uh, pretty much. And then they eat the vomit? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so here we have the wrinkled horn though. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's actually really hungry now. So you lift. Lift this up. Mm -hmm. No, here, here. Oh, here. Lift it up. Okay, put the plate in. Here you go. Yay, well done. Woo! Okay, here. Okay. So why is it called a wrinkle? Wrinkle something? Yeah, because you look under the big, there's this uh, line here. Ah. It looks like a bit of old man. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got hornbills that are actually extinct in Singapore. So they were but, native in Singapore? Yeah, they're native to Singapore. But because of uh, deforestation back in the uh, 1900s, mm -hmm. so they're fast, very fussy nesters, right? Mm. Yeah, so they didn't find any space so they couldn't reproduce. But you can actually find them in Malaysia. This is Bay. It's our female rhinoceros hornbill. She's only nice to guys. Uh. So only guys look here, that's why we call her Bay. Oh. Yeah, now you can try and feed Bay with okay. uh, closer. Where? You have to go closer. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's scalping okay, us. Uh, okay. Then try another one. Okay, why is it not eating it though? Like, why is it just like... Uh, because usually it wants to feed us. Oh, Is it trying to feed me too? Not sure about you, but probably me. Same. Okay. Okay, so first, um, we've come to the end of the day. Yes. So how do you think you did today? I, I'm like 80% there. Can okay. become a bird keeper. Yeah, what did you learn today? Okay, so I learned that Actually, birds are not that boring. Uh. They're quite, they have their personality and some of them can be quite cute. What I learned, the most important thing is that I can live without washing my hands for two hours. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the biggest takeaway today. How would you rate me out of 10? Um, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Okay. Yeah, so maybe if you work on your mealworm handling a little bit, so we can do better. Okay, I'll, we can forget about the mealworms. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so we're done, right? Yep, we're done. So can I have my wet tissue now? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You mean y'all don't eat uh, mealworm cookies in secondary school? Who eats mealworm cookies? Um, everyone born in the 90s. I was born in the 90s too, but I guess I'm not so weird. <laughs> <laughs>